I just installed my automatic chain boiler here. I need to get some oil to test it out further. What, what you, it does, I put some spray in it to check if it works and it seemed to work. You put in the oil here, then you can put the cap on it of course. After you have done this, every 90 degree, so like a quarter direction that you uh, pull it, it gives you three minutes of oil. So that's enough for one tank. This is on a Ninja V400. So what I did, I followed this here you can see it. Let the line follow here, so it's nice and snug. It goes down there, then I put a zip tie, then it goes down there, then it goes to the fairing. So also placed a zip tie, one zip tie there, then it goes further down here, as you can see. Try to make it as Le less intrusive as possible, then it flows here. Then I give it some play so it could play with the swing arm. There it goes down. Then I adjusted it here on the top, and then it fills. It brings the oil right to the chain. hard to see because I try to place it under this uh, plastic cover but it does the job as I want it to be oiling automatically instead of all the messy stuff Let's see where it is I hope this gives you some insight what I did, and I hope it helps you if you want to do the same. Just warm it up. So I did another mod to the Ninja, already had Akrapovic installed, already had uh, oh, the automatic uh, chain luber installed, which goes like this and then automatically loops the chain there. And now I also installed a phone mount, I'm filming with my telephone so I cannot show you this, how it fits, but um, it works with this, you can turn this to tighten or, or uh, decrease it and then it can fit. I have here the, the case of my phone. I got a Samsung A70. Slides right in and then you can fixate it. I'm not going to overstretch it now. Wheels are free turning also for the tank. You just have to point the angle right secured it with some screws as you can see and I think it's an awesome uh, mod you can run uh, your phone for navigation but also if you want a telephone and here you can still uh, make an addition to if you want to for example USB port there that can charge your phone or something else you can also um, fit a little navigation device for example if you have a TomTom -tom, something like that could be there. So um, the A70 is quite a big phone. So if it fits an A70, look up the um, dimensions. It uh, would fit almost everything. The case that I have um, is not an uh, in enormous case. It's just a slim case, 
for the A70 because it's already a big phone as you can see here in my hand. Also for reference, here on the tank, I'll see if I can get some measurements. And it can uh, also uh, accommodate even bigger phones because I can still screw it a little bit uh, further open if needed. You can see here the, the gliding rails. Can then be screwed up, uh, yeah, screwed open quite a bit more if needed, but it will decrease the stability, of course. So, uh, this is for me the option that I want to go for. Quite an expensive, looks good. I went with the black coloration because I don't like all the reflections. I don't like that this is um, still not black, but it's a non reflective uh, like this. You also see on the Ninja, which doesn't reflect. So that's what I wanted to show you. Hope you liked it. And uh, there are some inexpensive mods. I also did this mod. This is a mod that helps you to have like cruise control. So what it does, you press down this. So you're opening the throttle and it keeps it in that way. Uh, put some additional electrical tape here so that the contact points you can see here, don't uh, peel off the paint. It's also black, so it's uh, not that uh, much visible. And I hope this will help uh, to yeah keep the paint in the, the mild condition that I want it uh, to be. The dog is also liking the motorcycle a lot. <laughs> Spiky? Yes, he's also all black. But uh, this is for me now uh, complete. Have a nice day. Bye bye.